Hello friends, I'm going to talk about the HNS Convention today. HNS Convention came into existence to provide compensation for damage caused by hazardous and noxious substances transported by sea. Before I proceed further, I would like you to know that this convention is still not in force. It was adopted in 2010 and it is based on the successful model of CLC and Fund Convention 92. This convention is applicable to all the ships carrying oils, other liquid substances defined as noxious or dangerous liquefied gases, liquid substances with flash point not exceeding 60 degrees, dangerous, hazardous and harmful materials etc carried in packaged form or as bulk possessing chemical hazard. Now the next question that comes into mind is what kind of damages are covered by this convention? This convention covers loss of life or personal injury, loss of or damage to property outside the ship, loss or damage caused by contamination of the environment and the cost of preventive measures. So basically it covers compensation for every conceivable damage by noxious and hazardous substances. And like CLC, it provides two tier of compensation. Tier 1 by the ship owner. The limit of liability as per Article 9 of HNS Convention is when the damage is caused by bulk HNS, 10 million SDR for ships not exceeding 2000 gross tonnage. From 2001 to 50,000 gross tonnage ships, additional 1500 SDR for each additional tonnage. For ships greater than 50,000, additional 360 SDR for each additional unit of gross tonnage and the maximum liability for the damage caused by bulk HNS is 100 million SDR. In second case, if the damage has been caused by HNS which has been carried in packaged form or a combination of bulk and packaged form or where source of pollution is not clear. In such cases, compensation is increased by 15%. So vessels up to 2000 tonnage, the maximum liability is 11.5 million SDR. From 2001 to 50,000 tonnage, additional 1725 SDR for each additional gross tonnage. Ships greater than 50,000 gross tonnage, additional of 414 SDR for each additional gross tonnage unit. And the maximum liability in such cases is 115 million SDR. This was the tier 1 compensation limit. Now let's talk about the tier 2. Tier 2 HNS fund is contributed by the receivers of HNS in the contracting states who receive HNS in excess of 20,000 tons annually. The maximum liability per incident after including the HNS fund goes up to 250 million SDR. So this was the HNS convention in short for you. And before I end this video, I would like to discuss a question which may be asked in the exams. A survey may ask you, in case of a persistent oil, you have CLC. What convention do you have in case you require a compensation for non-persistent oil? The answer could have easily been HNS convention. However, the HNS convention is still not in force. Thus, a coastal state would use its local laws concerning such matters. And then there may be a further add-on to it. The survey may ask, the CLC convention and HNS convention are applicable in case there has been a damage or pollution caused by vessels in the territorial waters or exclusive economic zone. What will happen if the incident happens at high seas? Answer to that question is Intervention Convention. Intervention Convention was adopted on 29th November 1969 and came into force on 6th of May 1975. The convention simply affirms that the coastal state has the right to take necessary action to prevent, mitigate or eliminate danger to its coastline or related interest from pollution by oil or threat thereof falling upon a maritime casualty. However, the action must only be taken after due consultation with appropriate interests like flag states, owner, 
ship cargo experts etc intervention convention covers the oil and hns related damages wrapping up in case of a pollution damage in high seas we follow intervention convention and in case of pollution damage in the exclusive economic zone and territorial waters we have clc convention for oil which is persistent oil and non persistent oil we have hns convention which is still to come in force until then the coastal state will follow its local law i hope you liked this video and it solved the purpose thank you for watching